Okay, we've got question number four. We've got Morris's uh, accounting services and newly rapidly expanding accounting practice used by the rich and famous. Accounts balance for Morris accounting services are provided below for the 30th of June 2015. And it gives me a list of all these accounts. Now, it's got some information. It says additional information not, not reflected in the above table. It says depreciation has been not been recorded, so it's not been recorded for the computer equipment purchased on the 1st of January, 1st of the 7th, 2014. The computer is expected to have a useful life for eight years and a residual value of 1,500. They use the straight line method. Use the information in the above table and the additional information to prepare an income statement for Morris's accounting services. Okay. First things first, let's calculate my depreciation. So I've got my computer equipment here, which was purchased on the 1st of the 7th, 2014, so that means there's a whole year's worth of depreciation to be calculated. So now, my formula for calculating depreciation equals my cost minus my residual value divided by my life. And this equals my cost of 29,500 minus my residual, and it told me the residual was in there, so it's 1,500 divided by my life, which is eight years. And this equals 3500 per annum. So that may, that's my depreciation expense. So I'm going to put in here 3500. And I'm going to have a look. There's no accumulated depreciation here, so I know I need to put into accumulated depreciation of 3,500. <coughs> Thank you. So now I've got all my bits of details here. So I can now start to make my accounting statements. Now what's the first thing I need to do before I do my accounting statements? Classify, yeah, that's right. So now, what would I classify my depreciation expense as? Oh, no, hang on, what are we going to classify into first? It's going to be income, expenses, current assets, non-current assets, current liabilities, non-current liabilities, and equity. They're my classifications for income statement and balance sheet. So what am I going to classify my depreciation expense as? Well, that's easy. It's expense. What about accounts payable? Current liability, yeah. What about accounts receivable? Current asset. Advertising expense? Uh, easy one. Capital? Equity. Cash at bank? Computer equipment? Non-current asset, electricity expense, well that's easy. Interest expense, another easy one. Land, non-current asset. Loan, repayable in full 2020. <coughs> non-current liability. Prepaid insurance. Current asset, yeah, very good. Rent expense, yeah. Revenue, income. Revenue received in advance, current liability, salaries expense, yeah, drawings, equity, salaries payable, current liability, it's got that payable in it, and accumulated depreciation, non-current asset. Okay. So now that we've done all the hard stuff, 
What we'll now do is we'll now create an income statement for Morris's accounting service industries for the year end of 30 to June 2015. So what's the first thing I do now that I've got all my classifications done? <coughs> okay, first things first, I've got to do a title. Uh, No, no. What you'll see in the exam is like that. That's all you'll see. So you have to draw up your income statement yourself. It takes so long. It's not that long. Now the important piece of information that I want to see in your title is this. That's what I'm looking for, for the year ended and the date. Because this is a period report, not a static report. Now the first thing I'm going to be putting in is my revenue and my revenue was how much? 240000 Then less expenses. And we'll start with, uh, we'll start at the bottom of my expenses. My salary's expense is the first one. That's seventy five thousand. My next expense is rent and it's eighty thousand. Interest and it's three thousand five hundred. Uh, electricity. <coughs> which is 6,750. Advertising. Which is 20,000. And then we've got depreciation. Which is 3,500. Have I missed any? No. No, no. No. Income. Yep. Yep. Beautiful. Okay. So he's fast on the calculator here. 188. Hundred and eighty eight seven fifty. Now I'm going to be taking my revenue, my expenses away from my revenue, and I'll get two fifty forty plus uh, fifty one two fifty. And that's my net profit. Uh, 